Canadian Coast Guard has commissioned ICGS Amulia, the third Adamu-class fast patrol vessel, strengthening security along India's eastern seaboard. Built by Goa Shipyard Limited with over 60% indigenous content, the vessel is designed for surveillance, search and rescue, anti-smuggling and pollution response. Armed, fast and technology-driven, Amulya reinforces India's push for self-reliant maritime defense under Atmanirbhar Bharat. The Indian Air Force is set to phase out its Soviet-era Mi-25 and Mi-35 attack helicopters by 2030-31, closing a decades-long chapter. The transition will be driven by large-scale induction of the indigenous LCH Prachand from 2028 onwards. Designed for high-altitude warfare, the Prachand offers superior agility, modern avionics, and stealth features. Backed by orders for 66 IAF units, it will complement existing Apache fleets and boost self-reliance. The Indian Army and the Royal Malaysian Army successfully concluded exercise Harimau Shakti 2025 in Rajasthan. Held over two weeks, the joint drill focused on counter-terror and subconventional operations under a UN mandate. Troops practiced raids, heliborne insertions, drone warfare, ambush tactics and live firing. The exercise boosted interoperability, tactical skills and reinforced the growing India-Malaysia defense partnership. In a major boost to India's civil aviation ecosystem, Sakti Aircraft Industry Private Limited will begin production at the country's first private trainer aircraft plant in Tirupur from January 2026. Backed by a rupees 750 crore investment and a technology partnership with Diamond Aircraft Industries, the facility will build DA-40 and DA-42 trainers. The move cuts import dependence, lowers training costs, creates jobs and supports India's growing pilot demand. Amid instability in Bangladesh, senior leadership of the Indian Army reviewed security preparedness along the India-Bangladesh border in Mizoram and Tripura. Eastern Command Chief Lieutenant General R.C. Tiwari assessed ground readiness and praised the Assam Rifles and Border Security Force for high operational vigilance. Tripura's vulnerability remains a focus, with authorities citing robust surveillance, strengthened border measures, and readiness to counter any spillover from the evolving situation. DRDO is developing a new generation cruise missile for the Indian Air Force that blends long-range strike with loitering surveillance. With a 250-kilometer reach, the missile can hover over targets, transmit real-time imagery, and allow operators to authorize strikes after positive identification. Featuring modular payloads and man-in-the-loop control, the system promises flexible, low-collateral precision against land and maritime targets. Noida-based Diaspro Intech Private Limited has developed an advanced muzzle velocity radar, enhancing artillery accuracy through real-time projectile speed measurement. The compact Doppler-based system improves first-shot hit probability, reduces ammunition wastage, and boosts safety across diverse terrains. Easily integrable with modern guns, the muzzle velocity radar supports the Indian Army's modernization drive and strengthens Atmanirbhar Bharat in defense technology. The Indian Air Force and Defense Research and Development Organization are confident of clearing the indigenous Rudram II missile for production in 2026. Successfully tested from the Su-30 MKI, the 300-kilometer range weapon features an advanced imaging infrared seeker for complex electronic warfare environments. With multi-platform integration planned, Rudram II will significantly strengthen India's standoff strike and air defense suppression capabilities. The Parliament of India has approved the Shanti Bill, 2025, overhauling India's nuclear framework to support a 100-gigawatt clean energy target by 2047. The law opens the sector to private participation in power generation and manufacturing, while reserving strategic control of fuel cycles and security for the union government. 
With graded liability norms and a stronger Atomic Energy Regulatory Board, the bill reinforces safety, governance, and long-term nuclear expansion. India is set to revolutionize naval air defense, as DRDO accelerates deployment of its 50-kilowatt laser weapon across frontline warships. Designed to counter drone swarms swiftly and silently, the system offers virtually unlimited shots, drawn from a ship's power grid. Induction will begin by 2027 on select destroyers and frigates, expanding fleet-wide by the early 2030s. Developed by DRDO's Laser Science and Technology Center, the laser can disable drones within seconds, even in harsh maritime conditions. Driven by lessons from global conflicts, the move adds a cost-effective, futuristic shield to India's naval arsenal. India's air power doctrine may be on the brink of a major reset. The Ministry of Defense is weighing a proposal to raise the Indian Air Force's sanction strength from 42 to 50 or more squadrons, following lessons from the May 2025 India-Pakistan conflict. Analysts say sustained air dominance depends on numbers, attrition management, and operational endurance. With China's PLAAF expanding rapidly and Pakistan inducting advanced fighters, the old benchmark looks inadequate. A higher squadron cap would drive fresh orders for Tejas MK2 and the AMCA, strengthen indigenous production, and restore IAF combat depth for prolonged multi-front conflicts. U.S.-based startup Natilis is set to reshape India's aviation landscape after clinching a 100-aircraft blended wing body order from SpiceJet and announcing plans for local manufacturing. The move positions India as a key hub for next-generation aircraft production, with potential output touching 300 jets. Natilis Horizon blended wing body promises lower fuel burn, reduced emissions, and improved efficiency over conventional narrow-body aircraft. Beyond civil aviation, defense-focused variants for tanking, cargo, and autonomous missions could attract Indian military interest. The deal signals a rare convergence of commercial demand, aerospace manufacturing, and future-ready defense innovation, placing India at the heart of a disruptive aviation shift. That's all for now. Hope you like this video. Please like, share, and subscribe for daily news updates. Thanks for watching.